Welcome to Monster Transmissions. This is Kurt in Kurt's Corner. We're going to go over a tech review item. The item we get a lot of questions on is how do I convert my factory lockup circuit on a 700 to a fourth gear circuit? Now we offer a kit if you have an oil port here located on the case. As you notice, oop, there's no oil port. So what do I do? Well, we're going to show you a simple way to change the wiring harness of your transmission and change your pressure switch and you can make it into a fourth gear lockup. So this is a tech review on how to do that. So the only tools you're gonna need is a way to drain the oil, because you gotta take drop the transmission pan, and you need a 13 millimeter socket, as well, obviously a ratchet or an impact gun, something to remove the bolts, but when you tighten them again, you're gonna tighten them with a wrench or a, a ratchet. You don't wanna use the impact when you tighten bolts. So you're basically gonna remove the pan. So the first thing we wanna do is Drain the fluid out, if you have a drain plug, drain the fluid, and then rotate the transmission over, or if it's up in the vehicle, just drop the pan down. So we're going to roll it over now and remove the pan bolts. Remove the pan gasket, highly recommend you install a new one. If you get one of these kits from us, it will include the pan gasket. You need to remove the filter, gently twist it and pull it out of the pump assembly. And that should expose the factory circuit here. This one has to have connectors because they put a new solenoid. There's no need to remove the solenoid. You're just going to change the wiring. So you notice the harness runs around. There's a pressure switch here. This is actually a temperature switch. You're not going to be using that temperature switch. So you're going to bypass it. So there's a hot lead. The red wire is hot usually goes to a brown wire. The brown wire stays factory and goes all the way to the case connector where the power comes in from the vehicle. There's also sometimes a tan wire, different color tan, sometimes even uh, yellow. That wire is not being used. So you can either just cut it off or just uh, leave it alone because you're not going to use it at all. This is the area where you're going to be changing the wiring. You're going to add the ground circuit to this pressure switch. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the connector. It just snaps on. We're going to remove this second gear accumulator body to give you more room to work. They all have 10 millimeter head. So you're going to remove those bolts. There is a spring and a piston in here. So you want to put them back the same order they came out, the spring underneath and the accumulator piston on top. Now you have more room to work. You're going to remove this pressure switch. It's a single prong connector. You replace it with this pressure switch. The thread on the switch, both switches in the valve body is one eighth pipe thread, which is a standard plumbing thread. It's not metric, it's not standard, it's actually a plumbing thread, PT. You want to rotate the switch to where it's tight and to where the two connectors can be facing up. Because you're going to bend this switch connector up and this one up in that position. Now what you're going to do after you bend the switch, you're going to cut the connectors. You can remove it from this temperature sensor, you're not going to be using this. It's not going to be based on temperature any longer. It's going to be based on fourth gear. So the ground circuit, which is this black wire on the harness, you cut that one. This is the computer one, which is not being used. You no longer talk to the computer. You can disconnect that and then you have the original ground which goes to the solenoid. You're going to cut that off. That's black as well. So basically the two blacks, the two grounds, are both going to be fed over to the switch. So basically you have to cut those two wires. You're going to remove the sheathing on both of them. So you can put on the connector.
It's an insulated connector. And I'll explain the benefit of that here in a second. They both get the same kind of connector. And it does not matter which direction or which connector goes to, this, to these prongs. Because all it is is a basic ground. So make sure fit, they fit tight. And the one that has more room, you plug into the switch here. And the other connector fits here. And you can either remove this temperature switch to take it out of the unit, replace that valve body bolt, or you can leave it there. Simplicity, I just left that harness there. And the wire connectors are installed. And now this is a fourth gear circuit. In other words, when fourth gear feeds this oil passage, it will ground this pressure switch, complete the circuit, and engage the lockup clutch in the transmission. It's very basic, very simple. And that's reusing, reutilizing your, your factory harness. If you have a valve body that has more pressure switch and more connectors, none of them will matter. Only need the wire in this one. If they're wired in, just remove the wire. The only wire you need is the ground from the pigtail connector to the switch and the other ground going up to the solenoid and the hot lead going directly from the pigtail connector runs all the way up to the solenoid. So now you have a ground and a hot and this is the control mechanism to turn it in, on and off. Once it's installed now you can replace the accumulator housing. It has one long bolt and two shorter it's pretty easy because the housing is set up for a long bolt and short bolts. And again, you don't want to tighten anything with the impact gun. Everything is done by hand. So basically secure down. This will go down to about maybe with a torque wrench around 12 to 15 pounds. Now the accumulator housing is, is on. The connections are good. You want to reinstall the filter. Ensure that the sealing grommet is there. You may want to add some transdel or oil. Apply pressure and push down. It should go right back in place. So the filter's installed. You should install a new pan gasket. And then reinstall the pan. Usually you want to start the pan bolts. Start the four corners. Again, you want to do this by hand. Do not use the impact gun. And the best thing to do also is that you cross tighten. Do not tighten one side of the pan and then walk around because then it could be uneven and you could crush the gasket or the pan won't go down evenly. Okay, now that all the bolts are tight, you're ready to refill the transmission. Again, if this is installed in the vehicle for the lockup circuit, once the pan is tight, you should only need maybe four to five quarts of fluid. You can put the fluid in, you have to put maybe three quarts in. You start the vehicle up, ensure that it's in park. Then top it off with another quart or so of fluid. Make sure it's full of fluid before you take it out for the test drive. So that's how you can wire up a fourth year lockup on a factory transmission with the factory lockup harness. If you have any questions, give us a call at Monster 1-800-708-0087. Talk to you then. Thank <laughs> you.